Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video and it is on the new Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Setting Powder. I got it like a week ago and I've been using it here and there. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and how it works on me, then keep on watching. So first I'm going to do one of the most important steps and that is primer. And I'm using this Coastal Sense Primer that you have been seeing in my most recent videos. And then I'm going to use this new product that I got, like, pretty sure y'all been seeing this on all of the Instagram videos. The Versali Rose Gold Elixir. Yes, I had to get it. Like, I, like, obsess over when I see other people use it. So, I decided to get it for myself. Put a little bit right here. I already put some on after I washed my face. So, I don't need as much. I'm just going to put it in my cheek area. Because lately I've been liking the matte forehead. Like I don't really like my forehead is shiny. So I'm using my Matte and Poreless Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 355. Now I'm about to highlight with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Toffee. And of course, my under eye highlights, my favorite part. Okay, now to the part that you all have been waiting for, the powder. So this is the original one, the translucent, and this is the new one, the medium deep. This one, I'm pretty sure it's in stores right now. Not my store um, in my hometown, but pretty sure you can find these in the stores. And then this one is not in stores yet. You can only purchase it online. I was waiting until it got in stores, um, but doesn't... Didn't look like it was happening anytime soon, so I went ahead and ordered it online. So, let me show you what it looks like. It's a little messy. Can y'all see that? So, it's like a, a camel type of color. Like, I have the... The Ben Eye uh, Powder and Camel, and that's what it reminds me of. And this is the translucent. Like, one big difference, another difference between the two besides the colors is that this one, it, like, doesn't come out as easily as the newer one. I really had to tap it like that, and it still barely comes out, so... I'm glad they changed that with this one. It's actually, too much actually comes out, so... I was thinking about doing one side with the newer one and one side with the old one. I'm not sure yet, so let me get some more of this powder out. I usually use some little scissors and poke in the little things, but it doesn't really help. But let's see, I'm just, I don't know what it is. Like, it's the different in the powder size or what so i had planned on doing a um 
an initial re review and demo and all of that but I was like let me use it a few more times so what I found this powder is to be like the exact same shade as me so um it does a good job setting my uh face but I wouldn't I feel like it doesn't really help with brightening my highlights so let me show y'all what I mean then I'm gonna use um, these sponge, these wedges. I heard it's better to use these. I've used my beauty blender, so I'm gonna try these this time. See, it might be even darker than my highlight shade. And then I've been putting the translucent one on top just cuz just to brighten it back up and I don't usually bake I don't know but I will just for a couple of minutes so I just feel like if you're my shade um this powder, hmm, I don't want to say it's, it isn't necessary because I feel like it could help you in your makeup routine, but I feel like it's a better, it's more beneficial to women of deeper skin tones. So, I mean, you could try both. Like, I like them both. I pay for it, so I'm going to get my money's worth. So, yeah, but I'm just going to set the rest of my face using, um, the Black Radius Press Powder. I don't know. Um, I really haven't gotten to setting my face, my whole face, with the loose powder. I feel like it's gonna make me look cakey, so I try to stick to the press powder in the other areas. And excuse my hair, just have it braided up so it could be a little wavy when I take it down. So don't be judging me. a close look um, this powder hasn't been on long at all like I said I don't really bake mainly because I'm impatient so I'm just going to dust it off So I want to get rid of some of these powdery particles on my face, so I'm going to spray with my Urban Decay, which is almost gone. So I'm going to use my Milani setting spray, which is also almost gone, like wow, i got to get me some setting spray. Because I use so much, I'm always running out. So this is my face with just highlight. I have not contoured yet and with the powder and all of that. So. To contour, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills, you know, like and I'm using the darkest shade and I'm going to put some of this Versali um, elixir in there to make it creamy. And I'm using my Moda brush. So go check out my video on that. So now I'm going to set that cream contour with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in the darker shade. See, I hit pink.
You see that contour? The nose contour. I'm going to clean up my contour around here like I always do using some powder. And I'm going to go in with the medium deep one. Okay, so one thing that I um, was thinking about is that I feel like Laura Mercier, she should have also, well not saying that she won't, but they should have also come out with the banana shade powder for like people, you know, in between like me, like I'm not the deepest skin tone. I mean, this does work for me and I feel like it's all about figuring out how it works best for you. Like for me, it works best by mixing the two, you know, for someone deeper the deeper skin tone me it might work just by themselves someone lighter than me just the translucent one might work better so i love this product um i don't have anything bad to say but i feel like if you want to get it get it but learn how it works best for you to my milani highlighter on top lights Makeup Shayla and Tarte palette. I'm going to use her two highlighting shades and just mix them together. And then I'm going to throw a little gold, golden highlight in there from this Black Radiance palette. Speaking of highlighting, I ordered the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit, so hopefully to be here this week and I can film a video on that too. I'm super excited, but also been seeing a lot of people's been arriving like shattered and damaged. Like I hope I don't have that problem. Ooh, I hope I don't. And I've never had an issue with Sephora packaging. I feel like it's just this um, whole Nicole palette thing that's been um, making me worry because I see so many pictures on Instagram. So. Okay, so I'm gonna put some eyeliner stuff on and I will come back when my look is complete. Okay, so this is the final makeup look. Um, well, this wasn't even a tutorial, so I don't know why I said that, but those are my thoughts on the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder, and then of course this one. So, a close look. I was watching a video and um, a girl, I forgot her name, she was saying how she feel like the medium deep is more buttery and smoother than the the original one. I really didn't get a difference in um, how they felt. So, yeah. So there are plenty of comparison reviews on these powders, so definitely go check them out. I hope you all enjoyed this one. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on my next video.